Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you how to calibrate your PS5 DualSense controller. Our main focus will be the fine tune option, but I will be showing you how to do the old method of just using the sticks instead of going by the numbers. So let's dive in and get these sticks calibrated. Today I'll be using one of my own creations, one of that features uh, things such as uh, rapid fire, drop shooting, auto hold breath. Uh, it's a working project. Uh, I'm currently still working on the back buttons as you can see. I already drilled the holes, just got to get them in there. But if you haven't seen this controller in action demoed, um, I'll leave a link in the top right and in the description. All right, first things first, we'll take a look at the centering. As you can see, these are way off zero. This one is flickering. That's the only one that's got a solid number for it. So first thing I'll take you through is the original calibrates stick center. You just read this prompt and we'll go with it. So let's hit start. Each step will want you to tilt your sticks in a certain direction. So I'm just going top left on this one let it go let it snap back to center top right snap back same lastly bottom right hit continue everything snap to the center as it should be now we'll check the circularity so I'll show you what's wrong I got one that's overextended and one that's Underfilled. Uh, both of these were intentional just for the sake of the video. So let's go to calibrate stick range. Hit done. No, no, I'm sorry. Gonna take it clockwise slowly six times. One thing to note when doing this is not to press down hard in the direction that you're going. Uh, just slightly take it all the way to the edge of the ring and hit your circles don't sit here and try to force feed the stick into the edge of the controller all right I can go counterclockwise we'll do that one six times snap back hit done check the circularity again this right here is the reason that the fine tuning option was given you had times where the circle would be overdone or underfilled the developer of the website was able to make an option for us so we can fix it manually. Check the clockwise. So I'll be showing you how to fix the underfield such as this. And it looks like there is absolutely barely any overextended sticks. So that's a good thing, but I'll just reboot the controller thing as before uh, when I started. Probably tell. Yep, there you go. Everything's off center and flickering. All right, let's do fine tune. All right, here we'll start with the center. You just come down here for the x-axis, so you see it's kind of off to the right side on the plus. So change this number thing to note whenever you're doing this is if you use the arrow keys on your keyboard the numbers will change live as you can see I'm just holding it down if you just do a click you won't see anything change until you let go so let's bring this down to a solid zero not flickering give it a five 
this one going down in order to bring it back up to a positive. Let's get 15 is good for me. Save. Let's see what this one is doing. That one's good. The centering alone helps out. All right, let's show you how to fix uh, underfill. The main thing you wanna do for underfill is check each direction. You got your four directions, up, down, left, and right. You want each one of these to have a full 1.0. Same over here. None of these have a 1.0. So I'll go ahead with how severe these are. I'll just, that one's the only one that isn't out of the year. So I'll just go ahead over here. Just gonna go ahead and make that 750. Another note, whenever you're doing these, these two numbers right here, in order to go further out, you increase the number. In order to go further out for these two, you decrease the number. So as you can see, all right, that one's 850. Well, 800, so let's go 850. And it's not quite there yet. That one is, so I can go further to get there. Get us to 97. Mm -hmm. 100. 895. So for this one, I need to come down in order to get the number up. That 3490, the nice even number. This one's a 94. to go down in order to extend out. Go 80. Show you an example of what's happened so far. So this one Mainly this one needs to come out. So we'll go back in. That. And we can do most of the work on this left side because as you can see, this one is halfway into the dot. But this one, the dot is almost exposed. So if I, if I were to do just this side, this would be overextended just in order for this one to get out of the circle. So we're gonna focus over here, come down, or come up. So we can get it extended out. I think uh, 820 will do it. Oh, no. 815. See that one looks great. That one looks great. That still looks great. That looks can't beat that. Let's try that. Just a little. Remember to go slowly. I can take it just a little there. Go down to increase it. Get that one last spot over there. Or when I was in. 
this earlier. Beautiful circle. I don't think I've ever done one that looks better than that. That looks awesome. I'll save it. Right, now let's work on this right side. Let's check it. Remember that one's overextended. It looks like the center has gotten off a little process. to a 2080 here stick it flip it make sure it's good and you should turn yep i'll just save it for now go back in all right we know that both of these all four quadrants are bad uh, as mentioned when you affect this one you're affecting this top left and the top right same down here if I was to manipulate this one it would change the top left and the bottom left and so on for these two numbers all right knowing that each side is so bad we can just do some full changes on it so I'll just change everything by 25 let's go down to 898 that side go over here bring this one down eight two three so the in order for the in order for the dot to come back in you're decreasing these Remember for this side, if you want to bring it back in, you'll increase these numbers. So I'll, I'll increase these by 25, that's 3311, make that 3336, same thing, 25. Just to keep everything even and easier to work with, I'll go ahead and take that one up to 3350. That one's good, I'm fine with that. We'll lower that to 80, 50. No harm in making that 900 for now. Just a quick check, circle around. That one seems to fix itself mostly. I can actually come down another 25 on each one of them. Increase 25. Save. There it is. We get to the fine tuning in just a second. Let's get this one to 15. So it's 18. Sixteen. We'll check it this way. See that dot is barely touching the edge of the circle. We want to kind of want it to be half of the dot is cut by the circle. Same over here. Here, this one is pretty far out. This one's not too bad. So I can really, in order to fix all three of these, I could really just stay heavily into these numbers here. So let's take that one down. It 820. And fix that one. I can use this one. Come down to Got it to where it's touching the edge. 750. 
still not inside the circle. That one's okay. Do a little bit. Let's add 10. 10. Edge, edge. Come down just a little since both of these sides are extended out. Let's do another 10 on it. That's good. Save it. Let's check it. Down a little too far on this one, which is fine. Do five. Go where it said. For the true tuning, let's do three. Beautiful. Alright, I managed to get it down to 2.71 on the left side and 4.32 on the right. Let me fix that flicker. Save it. Alright, now we can save permanently. And that's it. Uh, that's all you need to know as far as using a fine tune. Remember those up downs and then also making sure that you use the arrow keys on the keyboard to make it a live change in the numbers. But if you have any questions, just reach out to me in the comments or on my social media accounts. And hopefully this one helps and hopefully this one helps you out in the long run. Thank you for sticking around to watch this long. So until next time, like, share and subscribe. Thanks.